Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today. My name is Crystal Oliveria and I am a scholarship coach. So today I'd like to start off with a quote from Marcel Proust who says, The true voyage of discovery consists not in seeing new landscapes, but in seeing the same landscapes with new eyes. And what that means is sometimes we look at things and we don't even see the opportunities that are right in there, right there in front of us. And I know this is certainly true for myself. So my question to you is, how many high school graduations have you been to lately? Now, this might seem kind of odd because we're talking about scholarships, but I found a quite expected uh, amazing resource while I went to my brother's graduation. So this is something that you can certainly be on the lookout when you go to graduations in the near future especially if you attend those of your friends, your family, your kids, cousins, um, other people. These are resources that you might want to be on the lookout. So for that today, um, I have my little card that says high school graduation. So keep this in mind when it's that time of year, especially if you go to a lot of them for different schools. Um, you might find some amazing resources. And what I found was actually it was on the graduation program. And what it is, is this is the actual high school program that um, I received when I went to my brother's. Um, he was at Buchanan High School. And it's very, very nice because in the front it lists all the programs and what to expect for the event. But as you open up, it has a whole list of all these different scholarships that you can apply to. And so, in, in fact, I went through and I tallied them up. And there is over 110 different scholarships. And <laughs> it's quite amazing because it was 162 recipients, but they were different scholarships. I mean, a few of them were repeated where they had one to two winners. Some scholarships had seven winners. But for the most part, everything you see in this top section, everything that's listed, is it's the student name and the scholarship that they were awarded. But those are 110 different scholarships. And it's amazing because when you look at this, you want to look for clues. And what I mean for clues is there's more opportunities for scholarships than just the scholarships listed. And so what I did is after I, I started looking out, looking around, I'm like, what else is on the other side? Because it's printed front and back. And so I turned it over to the back side and started reading information. And I didn't even understand all the information that was there, so I had to go look it up. But um, they have, you know, several students listed for valid Victorians, and they have salutatorians, which I didn't know. They're students ranking the second highest in the graduation class. You have academic scholars of distinction. Um, these are people with a grade point average of 4.15 or higher, and five or more AP classes. Um, perfect Attendance Award, Steel State of Belitracy. Um, <laughs> you certainly have a whole bunch of other things. I'm not even sure. Uh, Energy Academy and an International Thespian Society, which is really neat. And one of the things that I like about, about it here is it breaks it down. So they have the honor, the national, and the international. And so these are the clues that I'm talking about, about how you can look into more scholarships, is oftentimes a lot of the academic societies that take a lot of pride in the great academics will offer a lot of scholarships too. So you could go there and start looking up additional scholarships to see what kind of societies are available, what societies are near you, um, what you can participate in. And then one of the things that I also really liked about the bath is it's amazing because people sometimes feel like scholarships are limited. There's only a few winners, but that's not in true for all scholarships. And in fact, the bath has a listing from the California Scholarship Federation Life Memberships, and it has all these names listed. And it's amazing because there's 139 students listed for the California Scholarship Federation. And this is a resource I didn't know about, but by attending a graduation, I found out about this resource 
Now I can go to that website as well as you. You can use you know, google.com, um, look, look up some of these different things, and you can find more information about what else is out there. So just kind of you know, keep in mind, you never know where you're going to go, where you're going to find a scholarship. I've been in the mall, and I've found scholarship opportunities. And not all the scholarships are academic or sports related. Um, in fact, some of them have to do with the different industry that people are going to go into. And so just to kind of give you an idea of some of the different scholarships that I found in this program, I'm going to go ahead and list off 10 of them that I thought were kind of interesting. So there's the, the first one is the Go Green Art Scholarship. The second one is Hanford Police Officers Association Board Scholarship. Hanford is a small town, so uh, the Police Officers Association offers a scholarship. Um, we have Independent Grocers Association um, for people who are interested in retail and going into the grocery market. Kaiser Permanente Equality Scholarship. Kaiser Permanente is uh, health care. They offer a lot of health care in this area, and they're an HMO. We have Life in the Arts Recognition Scholarship, the Peace Officer Research Association Scholarship, Plumbers, Pipe, and Refrigeration Filters Local Union Scholarship. We have a Recycling Scholarship, the Selma Unified Teachers Association Scholarship, and Student of Promise scholarship. So as you can hear um, and as you can see there are scholarships offered by different industries. If you're interested in going into a particular industry or they see that you have a lot of potential, they're looking for candidates with good character, this certainly could be you, it could be someone that you know, someone that you care for. There's a lot of different opportunities out there. And so I'd greatly encourage you to go out there and start looking for these clues. And, you know, if you're the one looking for scholarships for yourself, tell other people that you're looking for scholarships. Teach them what to look for. You know, if you know someone that went to a bunch of graduations, ask them, you know, can I keep your program? Can I take a look at it? Um, you know, make a photocopy of it. Take a picture on your cell phone. Do something. But this, there's information out there, and you want to start finding it, and then you want to start organizing it. So I will teach you on future videos more about how to organize information so you can stay on task. But for right now, I want you to go out, find a bunch of information, and then put it someplace safe. Put it in a binder, put it in a shoebox, put it somewhere so you know where the information is. And then you can go ahead and create a schedule for you to go back so, I don't, so you won't be overwhelmed. There can be a lot of scholarships out there. And one of the challenges I do hear people say is like, wow, I'm overwhelmed by the number of scholarships I don't qualify for. But I wouldn't let that stop you because it's always amazing to see that there's a lot of money out there. You just need to find the ones that are a good fit for you. And part of that starts with knowing where to look. And in this case, what better example to find all the local scholarships? This program right here. I mean, it's a gold mine. It really is. There's other people that went out, they found the information, they put it all together on one piece of paper, and it's right here for you to look through and go through. So go ahead and continue to go to those graduations, look for that information, and I will look forward to seeing you soon on the next video.